Hey guys, Zylan here. This is going to be a bit of a different video. Today I will be doing a commentary style video. And I will be talking to you guys about my terrible, terrible experience with the Xbox 360. And I'm going to try to keep this video as short as I can. So yeah. So a while ago, this was exactly 5 months ago. This was around New Year's. I got myself an Xbox 360. And I spent like 100 bucks on the console and all of the components. So I get it and I think to myself, oh my god, this is so epic. I'm such an epic gamer man. And you know, just looking back on it all, just the presence alone of this Xbox 360 makes me all excited. I was really happy, you know. So after this, a few weeks go by and I am very busy with school. This is also the time where I made that video where I plug in my Xbox 360 power adapter and the whole earth explodes because it, it didn't work I don't know what happened to it it just stopped working so even more weeks go by I get even more busy and eventually I did find the time to get myself a new Xbox 360 power adapter immediately when it arrives it's not the same one from the picture the seller put on the page. And I plug it in while we have guests, by the way. And guess what? The power goes off in the whole apartment. Can you imagine being me? Being little old me. You know, I'm only 15. It's all gonna go downhill from here. I'm in the ninth grade. Everything is getting more and more stressful. And then this. No one deserves anything like this. Now thankfully, all that pain is over because I did get a new Xbox 360. And this one was like 30 bucks. I'm actually... I'm actually surprised at how cheap it was. It wasn't even on auction or anything. I'm guessing some parents sold off their kid's Xbox because he was misbehaving or something. Now with this new Xbox 360, I actually got GTA 4, Need for Speed Carbon, uh, Need for Speed Pro Street, and Need for Speed Underground. And you know, I already had Halo 3 when I got my first Xbox 360. And I'll probably be getting more game demos and all of that. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Hopefully it doesn't fail on me like it did last time. And my old Xbox 360 I'll be selling but I'll have to sell it without the hard drive because I can't get the Xbox Live account off of it and my, my friends told me the Xbox Live account is saved on the hard drive so yeah I gotta remove that so yeah absolutely what a shit show this was this was all so stressful like like genuinely again nobody deserves anything like this I, hell, I think I would have rather had my Xbox 360 Red Ring than just have the power supply not work after a few weeks of owning it, you know? Like, the power adapter wasn't even showing any lights on it. Like, what the hell? And you know, I really thought this was a huge anomaly because I couldn't find anyone else having the same problem, you know? Until I did. And turns out the only solution was getting a new power supply. But, you know, I already tried that. That didn't go well. So it was either I get a third power supply, which would hopefully work, or I could just get a new Xbox 360 for the same price. And I went with the second option and hopefully it'll be hopefully it'll be good this time. So yeah.